That's pretty good. You know, everybody's out there moving around really well. Um, I was hearing, hearing that it was probably going to be the hottest day of camp, but that wasn't the issue. It was pretty windy out there. Got a nice little breeze, but for the most part, you can tell that chemistry is definitely starting to build. Yeah, Patrick, uh, Mike Zimmer talked about you know the leadership you bring as a veteran. What are the, some of the things you're kind of doing so far to show that leadership, especially for some of the young guys? You know, just um, showing these young guys how to study, how to understand their opponent, um, and how to come to work every day. You know how important it is to to make sure you put not only good film on the uh, on, on tape on the football field, but understanding how to study as well. You know, because a lot of guys can get in the game and you know they can be a deer in the headlights. But if you understand what's coming at you, the game will slow down for you. So um, just like today, I was talking to Chris Boyd, having him understand the different releases that receivers can give you. And uh, he was like, wow, I never looked at it that way. You know, so I feel, you know, giving these young guys those type of nuggets will definitely uh, slow their game down a lot to help them improve. Speaking of Boyd, Mike Zimmer said that Boyd and the younger guys watching Zim coach you in turn helps coach them in a different way. So right, they didn't right. have that same sort of veteran leadership last year. How have you noticed that kind of like wearing off on them? Oh, it's great. You know, you know when, when, when a coach is able to coach up a veteran and a veteran is able to take that in, that goes to, that, 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 that gives those young players a kind of in light that, you know, everybody's coachable. You know, the coach is just not on the young guys. He's just not coaching up the young guys. He's coaching up everybody because at the end of the day, I say this all the time, we're going to need every hand in the pile. You know, so if you're if you're able to take that coaching and apply it on the field, that's you'll be a much better player. Patrick, was there a veteran in your early years that took you under their wing or helped you along? Yeah, um, Adrian Wilson was one of the guys who I always watched film with. You know, I played with Adrian two years. Um, Kerry Rose was another one. I had uh, Rashad Johnson, who I played six seasons with. Um, and just being, being under those guys' wings and, and just them showing me how the, how the game is played. You know, me, with me being a top five draft pick, you know, I was always relying on my athletic ability. And once I started studying film, start studying the, 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 having the right practice habits, that's when the game started to slow down for me. And like uh, my personal coach now, Rod Hood, always tell me, you know, you don't want to walk away with the game with all this knowledge and not able to give it back. So that's what I want to do. I want to continue helping these guys, give them any, any, nuggets that, any nuggets or tips that I can give them to help them improve their game and also help the team better. Uh, you know, it wasn't really different because Zim um, had Vance uh, at the last club I was at. Um, they was on, kind of under the same coaching tree, you know. So, only thing that really changed was the terminology. You know, the, the defensive scheme is kind of the same. You know, heavy pressure, a lot of man to man, a lot of pressure on the corners, um, and you know. You know, that's what I'm used to. So coming here, it was just all about learning the new terminology and, and understanding, you know, the different the different players we have here now, because you know, obviously every player is, is able to do something different. So the terminology and learn, learning my new teammates. Patrick, from where you're at to where a guy like Chris Boyd is at, what is the biggest thing that you learned from just having that experience and taking it from the meeting room to the field? What What's the biggest thing that, that experience kind of gives you? I, I, I can barely hear you say it. One more time. So what's the biggest thing, the experience from, say, where you're at to where Chris Boyd is mm -hmm. at, what is the biggest thing you learned from the on-field experience as opposed to just studying it on the, on the projector or in the classroom? Uh, yeah, it's a bunch that can go into it. You know, taking care of your body, like I said, watching film, and understanding what what's going to happen to you before it happens. Understanding splits, um, you know, understanding – if a receiver, if they come out in a, in a flip alignment, which is the outside receivers off the ball and the number two receivers on the ball, nine times out of ten, you're going to get either a dagger, china, or double slants. Just things like that. So now you just you just shortening up the menu now versus covering everything. And you know, and that and that's some of the things I was telling these guys today. You know, it's like, man, how like how you knew how you know that? Like, just come with film study and just understanding different splits, understanding different route combinations, and what 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 you have to do on your assignment on that calling play. You know, 
everybody has a job to do. As long as you do your job and cover your space, you'll be in a good position. Is just studying film long enough, or is it studying film and then seeing it play out? The same yeah, way? yeah. It, it, you know, I got 168 games under my belt, so <laughs> it definitely comes with uh, uh, experience and also studying film at the same time. I didn't get to see Cameron Dantzler, uh, obviously last year he wasn't practicing this spring, but did he come back looking bigger just in these last like five weeks? No, Zim said he's not quite physically where he wants him to be yet, but just him playing opposite you yesterday. Um, you know, I haven't really, like you said, I haven't, I wasn't able to be out there with Cam. He was going through rehab and, and, and all of those things, but uh, he looks to, he looks a little bit like, like he gained a little bit more muscle mass um, from, from the spring. Um, but for the most part, you can tell he's starting to get back into the groove. You know, you can you can tell that um, he loves the game. He loves the game very much. And he's a he's a competitor. And you know, as a as a as a as a defensive back, you can't ask for much more than that. What, what do you think of the bulk you guys have in the interior defensive line with Tomlinson, Pierce, and Richardson? I mean, those are some big guys. No doubt about, about it. I mean, those guys are, are, are run stoppers for sure. You know, if you want to be able to, to win in this league, you, you definitely have to stop the run, although it is a passing game, passing league now. But if you're able to stop the run and make teams one-dimensional, you have a pretty good opportunity of being successful. So having uh, MP and uh, DT in, in, in the interior of the defense, I believe we uh, we definitely got better at that point, but you know now we just have to get ready for week one and see where it takes us. Covering Justin Jefferson when you do line up across from you know uh, Justin, you know uh, although he's in his second season, but he he runs his routes like a savvy vet. He makes everything looks the same, and most young guys can't do that. You know I don't know if it's coming from LSU and being coached the right way, but. Uh, he, he, he's a young, like when I first got here, he's a pro. You know, when you have a guy that come into the league at that age and gets it right away, it's going to be very special. And I'm, I'm looking for a big season out of him this year. Um, and, and, and not only him, but just the, just, just the offense in general. You have weapons all over the board. And by him having Adam, Irv, Dalvin, I just opened the door that much more wider for him. Do you think uh, defenses will play him differently in year two compared to year one? Uh, good luck because we got four, three, four, five other weapons. You know, so you have to. I, I think honestly, you're gonna have to play him honestly. And if and if you do try to double him, that's gonna just open the door for Irv, open the door for uh, Adam, who's been having a, a great career here. And um, obviously, Dalvin speaks for it for himself. So get the running game going. I believe it's it's gonna be kind of difficult. To try to, to cover him differently this year, you just have to just have to roll with the punches and hope you drop him. <laughs> I know it's only been one day, and you guys aren't even in pads yet. But he said yesterday he spent a lot of the offseason working on like balance, body control. Yep, yep. Is that something you can tell immediately as a corner of just like that's like a different thing for him this year? Um, I haven't, you know, with me playing uh, in the game, I really didn't have an opportunity to watch him. All you saw was the highlights. But like I said, just coming here with him able to make every route looks the same. Make making, you know, he can be running a dig, but it looks like he's running a comeback. You know, just different things like that. Just very, very savvy. Uh, he definitely looks bigger, uh, for sure. Because the the last time I saw Justin uh, before the national championship two years ago, but he was about 11 years old. <laughs> you know, so he's definitely a a, a, a different Justin now. But you know, just to see how he comes to work every day, you can just tell he wants to be a great football player. He's, like I say, he masked up a little bit. Um, I always thought he had um, uh, great speed. And, um, you know, I, I, I truly just believe the sky's the limit for him. Mike Zimmer was talking about just how he coaches you because of that. He was one of the reasons you stayed for Mike to come here. What, what have you learned about how he coaches since you got here? Uh, you know, coach uh, does a great job of, um, you know, allowing me to be me. But if if it's something that he feel that can help my game, he's definitely giving me nuggets. You know, he's been giving me a, a bunch of tips since I've been here on, you know, how how I, how he feel I can be on top of the route a little bit a little bit better. How I, how he feels, you know, just slowing down my back pedal when I'm playing off, be closer to routes. Just things like that, and, and uh, uh, the biggest thing that I, I like about um, just the scheme in general is just now I can play more face to the man versus my back to the man, and that's going to give me better opportunities to, to break up balls and create interceptions. Uh, 
Oh uh, no, we're gonna. It's pretty much the same. You know, we're we're gonna press. I, I just believe having the guys up front that we have, um, and Daniil and Stevenson and DTMT, uh, MP. I'm sorry. Uh, who else we got up there? Uh, Sheldon. Yeah, I know <laughs> Sheldon. Um, you know, just <laughs> you know, having the guys up there to <clears throat> create pressure on the quarterback to get the ball out faster it just makes my job that much easier so you know it's uh it's great to have um a, an interior and, and outside pass rush that we have and um like i said the scheme is going to be the scheme you know i am going to have opportunities to press i am going to have opportunities to be off but nowadays in the league you know most receivers don't want to get pressed and most offenses know that so they kind of condense the formations a lot so you know that in order, you know, that, that forces DBs to be off, you know, so have an opportunity to play up my eyes a little bit more, have an opportunity to uh, dissect routes now versus being up in the receiver face. You could have been a video, like, uh, what's your impressions from your first practice with him being back out here? Uh, it was great to have uh, Daniil out here. I remember when he first walked out here uh, minicamp uh, before we uh, broke up, I was like, ugh. We got us one here for sure. You know, he's just a freak of nature. You know, just just ripped up, have a body of a of a gladiator. Remind me a lot of uh, J the young Javon Curse. You know, just have that same body structure, that same tenacity off the edge, and um, he's able to create havoc every single time he's on the football field. So, you know, our job and the, the training staff the staff job here is just to obviously keep everyone healthy, so we can make a run at this thing. Hi, guys. Hi guys.